Hello, this is Frankie from AboutScript.com, and we're going to be looking at a script that uh, you may have seen on the blog. It's going to cover um, how, how to tell the difference between two files. Uh, it's commonly used if you have two different versions of the same file. So um, here we have an example. We have the original file, which is um, just as it was copied from a website. And uh, then we have our new file, which, as you can see, has this line added. You can kind of see just flicking between them. But if you wanted a more uh, substantial uh, comparison, you could use this tool that we made right here, which we call diff.py. It's a Python script. And um, it just loads the two files and um, splits it at the new line character. So we have a list of all these files, and then we make them into a set so that we can subtract the new lines from the old lines and the old lines from the new lines and as you might know from mathematics that gives you the difference is what it's called hence the name diff start of difference and then we just have some code here that shows it on the screen so we're just going to run our script and you can see it says this file has this uh, line has been added that's what the plus signifies. So let's go over to our new file and we're going to remove, uh, what are we going to change? We're going to change on to from. So now, now this is a new change and we're going to save it and we're going to run our script again. Okay, see now you see it shows that um, this line was removed and this line was added. It doesn't say that the change was from but you know the line's only so long you can tell that that the change in that line was uh, that word and it still has that other change because it hasn't been updated in the original file Okay, and um, I kind of mentioned on the blog post that you could use other things besides a new line character I haven't actually tried it out yet so we're gonna remove that and we're gonna put a space we're gonna remove that and we're going to put a space so we save that up and let's see what happens. Okay, so you see it says we've added from, um, we've added taken, we've added from and a colon, oh, taken from in this file, taken from, and then it says the URL is all one. I'm not quite sure why, why on, oh, on, it doesn't show when we changed on to from, because um, it there's another on somewhere in this file, like right here. So that is a mistake, and we would have to fix that if we were going to be using this on a regular basis or in a production environment. But that's the basics, and um, we'll just use the regular um, built-in diff tool. Notice there's no extension here. Um, it's, no, it's not a Python file, it's just a binary file that's built, and it comes with Linux which I'm using and we're gonna say original and new okay and you see this has these things with the arrows and it kinda tells you what's around it and um, it's more detailed but come on you know we wrote this so uh, we have more flexibility like doing that thing with a space which I don't believe there's any way to do using the diff tool at least, you know, from what I've seen around the internet, there's no way to tell it, I want you to split on every space or every um, every punctuation mark. We could tell it to define different chunks of text that started apostrophes, which, uh, you know, why not? We have to escape it because we're already using those. And then we'll run script again. All right, now it's giving us, you know, it's obviously not very sensible because we have no reason to do that. Saying this was taken off and that was taken off and that was added. So, you know, it just gives us more freedom that we wouldn't have otherwise, which is why it's beneficial to do it ourselves rather than relying on someone else's code. Okay, well, that's it. And uh, you may have noticed at the beginning of this video and one of my previous ones, we have some... Uh, it's called ASCII art. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. A-S-C-I-I. -I. 